irreverent, entertaining, cool. You're listening to L.A. Talk Radio. Listening to Female Filmmakers Fuse with Alexa Polar and Robin Pabello only on LA Talk Radio. Hello, welcome to Female Filmmakers Fuse. I'm your host, Alexa Polar. And your co-host, Robin Pabello. And uh, real quick, um, you could find us on. <laughs> I just totally paused there for a second. Uh, you can find us on YouTube. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because it's easier to uh, share on social media. Um, so, for example, this interview, we'll have it by Tuesday on YouTube, so you can share it, Emily. Thank you. That's our guest, by the way. So, <laughs> welcome, Emily. Robin, why don't you say her name, please? I can help you. It's okay. Yeah, you want yeah. Me to? yeah. Go ahead. Emily Spenson. Yeah, see, I was just thinking Sven. From, yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm very so bad Scandinavian. At okay, real quick. The phone number to call in is 818 602 4929. 818 602 4929. And I'm you sorry. can reach us uh, or reach us. You can, <laughs> <laughs> you can actually um, listen in live every Sunday on um, the app of LA Talk Radio, or you can listen on other streaming via I- via iTunes. What's yeah. going on? Words. I don't know. Words. I have no idea. Something's um, going on. Something's um, up. So yeah, or Google Play and all that jazz. We, we, we had, I had coffee today, so that's not my excuse. Um, <laughs> also sitting in with us is Ash Warren. Woohoo. Oh! <laughs> so... Ash is here because we're going to be filming something afterwards. We'll be revealing that later. So we're really excited to have her. Uh, Ash is Warren. Uh, Ash Warren. Sorry. <laughs> has jo- <laughs> Seriously, we are off today. Has joined Female Filmmakers Fuse, and she's going to be our on-camera host. Yeah. So thank you for doing that. We Ooh. look forward to working with you. I look forward to us eating up bananas later. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm always down for good food. <laughs> Don't If you know me, that's it. <laughs> so we were chatting with Emily um, a little bit before we started. Yeah, we had a great pre-conversation. Yeah, seriously, we're, we're friends now. We're, <laughs> we're going to be doing slumber parties and everything. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> You're coming to Orange County. Great. Uh, <laughs> Play video games. <laughs> so... Emily, you're a filmmaker, you're a writer-director? Uh, trying to be, yes. Trying to establish my career here, yeah. Aren't we all? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> hey, if you, like everybody in L.A. If you were doing it, then mm-hmm. you that's exactly what you are. Yeah. So no matter how big or small it is, like that's one of the things that I do admire about it is like I was put in check by somebody that was just like, so what do you want to do? And I'm like, oh, I'm a... And then just like, no, no, do you do it? And I was like, yes. Mm-hmm. And then I was. they responded, then that's what you are. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's so, good. It's so, good po- like, put it out in the universe. Like, yes, yeah. that and then just knowing your self-worth and knowing mm-hmm. that is what you are because everybody has to start somewhere. Right. And you have to make mistakes. I learned a very valuable lesson just recently and t- took full accountability from, from it, you know? Like, it's just what it is. Sometimes you get pressure from production and you got to move faster than what you're supposed to and your short crew and... Mm-hmm. You know, but at the same time, at the end of the day, as long as your work ethic, ethic is good and the people that are surrounded with you are are just there for you to support, it's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. So, so then, yes, I'm a writer-director. <laughs> That's Woo-hoo. So writer-director. I also write-direct, and I, I, I'm I starting to get into the more uh, ADing when I'm not doing that. So mm-hmm. if anyone needs an AD, I'm here for you. Plug, Amazing. plug. Amazing. Plug, plug. Yeah. I literally went online last night because I was getting over stuff, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go online. I went on Mandy.com, and I was just like, I'm just going to put my info and just reach out to people. You know, it's, I understand independent filmmaking. I'm not that person that's going to come up and be like, this is what I want to make. Like, mm. no, I want to be a part of production any which way. And that way I can learn and it makes me stronger as a director as well. So Definitely, that's yeah. how I look at it. Um, that's fantastic. And you're an actress, Ash, correct? Yes, I am. See, look at that. And Robin's a DP. <laughs> I think we could film something hey. here <laughs> right now. Like you, you write it and direct it. I'll be your AD. Robin, you're going to film it's perfect. it. You're yeah. starring in it. It's done. <laughs> well, I also do yeah. music. I'm also a singer and a songwriter. Oh, so beautiful. I See? do have that. See, it's going to be well. a music video. There we go. 
<laughs> I'm so down. Fun. Let's we go. do I it. actually need to film a music video because my debut single will be coming in a few months. So I'm actually looking at that right now. Holy hell. Wow, I've never done awesome. that before, but I definitely want to explore that realm. Oh, yeah. I'm that's... like, I want to do a music video. Yeah, L- awesome. Listen, you two can collaborate. <laughs> one can <laughs> write. <laughs> one can write. One can direct. Or you can both definitely. write and you can both co-direct. That's I'll right. capture it. You are the star. Oh, there, we there we done. go. Done. Sold. Yeah. Done. I, love I love this so much. Uh, so you'll find out crowdfunding. <laughs> <laughs> So, I was just like, hang on a second. Let me like put that up. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me get this like recorded. <laughs> so Emily, you actually had a successful crowdfunding. Oh yes, yeah. So How, um, tell us about that. Please. Yeah. Uh, so a good friend of mine, Jasmine Chong, uh, she and I are the co-creators of this uh, nine-part anthology series. It's uh, it's predominantly dark comedy, but it's kind of more exposing the darker side of LA. Okay. And we had this idea to create an opportunity for ourselves because obviously we work in a very male dominated industry mm-hmm. and uh just there's not bit. yeah <laughs> tiny, <laughs> there's tiny just bit. there's not a lot of opportunity for women like us at ground level to help us move up or get paid properly or mm-hmm. things like that so we just uh wanted to do something that we were passionate about and bring our friends on board and bring everybody up a little higher and build our body of work and do that so yeah we um we surprisingly exceeded our goal a little bit and reached 103 wow. uh, percent on much, our may i ask our, how much you were asking for and we were, how much you then yeah got. yeah <laughs> um we were asking for 35 grand because it's nine short films it's it sounds like a lot but really no, in the hollywood not. standards it's very really not it's very yeah, yeah. very small um and we got i think 36,200 ish wow. something like that congratulations so, yeah thank yeah, you that's definitely yeah, like let's pop the bubbly yeah, yeah. 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 seriously <laughs> we did we celebrated last night so. okay all right yeah. <laughs> we won't we won't ask any too no, no, no. too many questions <laughs> it was simple it was fine <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So so now you're you went from that and you're moving into pre-production. Yeah. So some of us already have location DP and actors already locked in and they're mm-hmm. going to be shooting first immediately in January 2019. Okay. And then some others like myself uh we're looking for some more actors and um I haven't settled on a DP yet. I'm I have like a lot of friends who are DPs and I'm kind of going through all of their reels and mm-hmm. like doing my homework and so That's good. Probably shoot a little bit later like february march so yeah 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 the that's relationship good. between a director and a dp that's really important it's like work married yeah, yeah. oh yeah for so, sure yeah. yeah not just that like each dp has their own style <laughs> yeah you definitely. know what i mean mm-hmm. and and that is what's key especially to the content mm-hmm. you know it's like kind of picking a set of lenses yeah it's you can't have one set of lenses to tell every single story mm-hmm. so that's what's beautiful about it and you have mm-hmm. so many people yeah <laughs> you know i mean just alone Mm -hmm. to network with which is fantastic yeah so you said lenses and you lost me (laughs) (laughs) so i'm just i'm not the tech person when it comes to that Mm -hmm. so and that's something so most everything that i've done robin's been my dp on Mm -hmm. and so when she'll come up to me and be like so what camera would you like how would you like this or Mm -hmm. what lenses you should know this stuff and i'm like so in all fairness i'm trying to like kind of like open up her vision of that so mm-hmm. that way you know like there are directors that can see verbatim what mm-hmm. they want and she can describe that but she just can't reference those mm-hmm. things so i'm just trying to teach her a different language so we have a better shorthand yeah. i think that's amazing that you're teaching though because so many don't and every director is different sometimes they just want the dp to take the reins and be like this is what i want just do your thing Mm -hmm. and then other directors you know they they do their homework or something and they kind of know more about lenses and they know exactly what they want like i mean the job that pays my bills i usually work as a second dc sometimes a first okay me too yeah (laughs) um and so i my my logic in that was trying to go through camera department to be a better director mm-hmm. and so but everyone's like i said everyone's different yeah. you know so many people take the theater route first and they're actors before they're directors or something like oh, that okay. so there's no right way <laughs> your way is yeah. the right way yeah exactly <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. yeah whatever yeah. it works best for you mm-hmm. to get to you to, to get to that level mm-hmm. where you feel confident yeah that's the way it is totally you know yeah. i think it's funny because that's true there's a lot of people that think oh if i do this if i do that mm-hmm. my first love was lighting mm-hmm. i love lights like yeah it sucks i love <laughs> lights i'm just yeah. like no, it's oh, amazing oh, oh. do you go all out on your christmas lights then yeah are you that person yes. yeah i am no I she's am. not just that person like we i got tickets a long time ago like several 
years ago to Conan show mm -hmm. like when he first started oh, the TBS Conan you know oh wow yeah, yeah. so I got tickets and I invited uh, three friends one of them was Robin and so it was four of us were there and as soon as we walked in I lost her yeah. because her face was just looking <laughs> up. like yeah. we're watching the show and she's looking at the lighting grid above mm -hmm. she's like okay I see this and like she's naming off the lights and I'm like are you serious he just said a funny joke yeah I <laughs> like, laughed at the joke I just was like I like some of the I thought you were laughing like, at the lights. lighting like I wouldn't have put it that way yeah. no <laughs> no like, not at all now I know what to get you like for Christmas and your birthday yeah <laughs> just get really <laughs> extravagant yeah. lights Edison lights Edison lights yeah. <laughs> Edison for <laughs> <Edison laughs> your daylight <laughs> I can't help it it's, you're drawn to the light. Yeah. It's what it is. You yeah. know? We went That's to, uh, what, what was it? Um, uh, Tennessee. Tennessee, thank you. And we went, to the, we went to the Grand Ole Opry. Yes. Yeah. Ole Opry. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. What is that like? And it's... what are the lights like there? <laughs> <laughs> if we're real. Because the stage no, looks beautifully we, lit. It, 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 we, you it get is. to go actually on the stage. Oh. And we took pictures. We got to go on the stage. We were there filming. Mm -hmm. And this was on our free time. So we oh. went to a couple different places. We were actually supposed to film those days, but... The person we were filming got sick, mm -hmm. so we still took the opportunity of going to the locations we were supposed to film anyhow, nice. and so we weren't, we were just, at that point, tourists, <laughs> but we still captured B-roll, yeah. you know, um, but it was interesting, and so there's a room where they have their, um, where they, they would film, correct, like a... Mm -hmm like shows or whatnot and yeah they just have different stages and different stuff. stages and one of them was for that and they allowed us to walk in and take a look and sure enough robin walks in and that was it everyone's walking out and i just see her in the middle of this big room just staring up mm -hmm. and she's like oh <laughs> there's infinite possibilities it's of... my birthday <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's amazing yeah. you know i just that's can't i don't apologize for it no <laughs> don't it's great but that's why with um when it comes to working with her uh mm -hmm. i just describe what i want and yeah. i'm not really easy to describe things mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's times where she's like i got it and i was like thank you because yeah. i was just like <laughs> i was starting to not understand myself mm -hmm. you know yeah. so she's like i got it yeah and that's why it ends up working well yeah, you know, and and that's why I have that fear of working with someone someone else. Because don't, yeah, <laughs> I, don't. I keep pushing her. Yeah. I keep pushing on me. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> quite the opposite. I keep oh. telling her she needs to work with other DPs. So if there's any other DPs that are listening, I would want you to reach out to her because and listen to my jargon. So this is what I just want. Feed her. <laughs> just yeah. feed her, because that's what I've done. <laughs> just feed her, guys. Yeah. True you know? story. True story. But, but <laughs> it, it opens up your horizons. Like, it lets you meet other people. There are other styles that are mm -hmm. there. You know what I mean? Because the but whole reason why I went into camera. The director and DP have to have, uh, um, they have to merge on their styles. Sometimes, mm -hmm. yes. But sometimes at the same time, like, I've worked, I've been paired up and not hired from the director. I was paired up and hired through production. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, it was, I was not the director's first choice. And nor did I have any kind of rapport. So, like, mm -hmm. the first thing I did was reached out to him, and I was just like, hi, I'm so-and-so. I'm going to be your DP. Do you have, you know, a moment to chat? Can we grab a coffee? I drink tea. But, um, yes. you know, like, can we just <laughs> kind of, <laughs> yeah, can we, can we just kind of, like, chat and, like, get to know each other and, mm -hmm. like, what you think of the concept is and, like, how you kind of see things? Because mm -hmm. then I get a better understanding. And then I'll present my my take on the material and just mm -hmm. be like, oh, this is wonderful. Okay, good. So then I can have, like, those personal self notes of like ooh yeah like yes. i totally saw this the same way that they saw it and then like they opened up a different like concept for me to see oh okay i would not have approached it that way but that's a good way as well so then it just builds in my repertoire mm -hmm. so i'm yeah. just saying like i think it's important to have that that relationship so when you do find your dp yeah i think it's important to have that that rapport yeah going into it because there's gonna be times like we get heated on set because mm -hmm. it's just and it has nothing to do sometimes with things on set it'll just be like oh i'm just having a crappy day right you know and yeah. it happens and yeah. because i'm i'm i've known her for so many years she's the first person i'm going to go off on but not really go off on it's mm -hmm. just like she knows i'm upset mm -hmm. and i'm going to try to be polite with everyone else and vice versa so yeah. it's kind of like it doesn't come off well yeah <laughs> but it's just, it's just one of those things so it's really important to have that relation relationship and rapport with someone that way they you can work off each other yeah absolutely you know because we had an experience where we had a director and a dp um on meet me after school mm -hmm. and they 
it did not go well. Mm -hmm. And he brought him in his DP and he ended up finishing the project on his own without the DP. Mm hmm. You know, so that's why I think it's way super to call important. that person out. I didn't Jeez. say, <laughs> <It's> Damn. Like... <laughs> but yes, uh, oh, but that, but that happens, uh. you know, yeah. <laughs> that's why, but that's the reason why you have those opportunities right. because then you can learn from them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, so even if you're doing a series, which I think in, in television, it happens a lot. There's usually a main DP that's on. And then sometimes that person gets pulled away mm -hmm. and then there, it's kind of like, oh, Hey, you're another DP. This is this is what we've agreed upon. This is what we've set the look and the feel. And this is kind of like, here's some, some, you know, references and then they'll fill in. Sometimes if they're really good, it'll match and it's flawless. And mm -hmm. there's other times where you're just like, there's something slightly different. And then you look it up and you're like, Oh, I knew something was different because it's yeah. a different DP. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you don't have to always settle. Like that's the thing. It just depends on what you're doing. So what's your goal when you're going to start filming? Uh, what do you mean, like shooting or yeah. how I wanted to? Shooting, shooting dates around like the time frame. She said February, like, March. February, March. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. But we're, no, like. Yeah, we're aiming for weekends too because, okay. you know, everyone's got a life and <laughs> has to and work job. their job. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, I want to hear a little bit Hollywood. more. Yeah. yeah. I like, want to hear a little bit more about. Stuff. Yeah, especially because yeah. it's dark comedy. I yeah. love, <laughs> me I love too. dark comedy. And you're like anthology. I'm like, tell me. Yeah. Well, Jasmine and I, we have a strong passion for dark comedy as a genre. Um, I mean, I'm half Scandinavian, so that's kind of in my genes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, the darker and the more inappropriate, the better. What part of Scandinavia, yeah. if I can ask? Sorry? What part of Scandinavia? Can uh, I... Swedish and Arme uh, Norwegian. Yeah. Damn, that's cold countries, guys. Yeah, it is. It's very, it's very cold and dark. <laughs> both. That's why I was like, what part? Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. I, I only visit in the summers. <laughs> I went yeah. during the winter. That would explain Oh, that. my. I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, no wonder she likes dark harmony. It's yeah. cold. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. It's very cold over there. Um, yeah, sorry. so. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's good. Um, yeah, so uh, basically we were just talking about that genre, and we wanted to keep it dark comedy um, or just dark uh and so a lot of our friends who are the writers they contributed you know their scripts and everything and um it's still within that darker genre not all of them are comedy um and it's just exposing the kind of the nastier side of la and working in this business mm -hmm. um because you know it's really uh like uh, off the cuff hollywood is very bubbly and happy and sunshine mm -hmm. it's la you know everything's awesome it's like the disney channel every right. day but um <laughs> that's not the truth yeah <laughs> but we all know the truth it's not reality yeah. so this is kind of just a more realistic take on on the city and the industry and i love that, that. Yeah, i can't so. wait for it thank you yeah I'm like on excited. the edge of my seat I'm yeah. just like mm. yeah do you have any Sweet. natives in your project that like can contribute to that uh, yeah, a couple yes. couple people. Yeah. <laughs> like, as a native yeah. myself, that's why I'm always like, please tell me you have natives. Yeah, <laughs> we, we definitely do. We can help expose. Yeah. <laughs> it's been, like, ingrained in us since childbirth. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, it's not all sunshine, and I grew yeah. up a block away from the Disney Studios. Oh, gosh, yeah. So that's why I'm you like, know very oh, well. oh, girl, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're being yeah. born and bred, so that's why I'm like, I Oh, my gosh. You. Yeah. We, okay, I was born in Inglewood. What? Nice. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was born in Burbank. Nice, okay. But yours is, like, two Inglewood. natives. Yeah. <laughs> like, Everybody. Yours is cool. Good. We're just, like, B-Town. <laughs> Sadness. Yeah. See, two out of four people. And that, yeah. That's awesome, though. Yeah. That's um, like, where do you, where do you want to? Sorry, because I didn't hear before. No, so I'm like, I don't mean to no, uh, no, no. hijack the no, interview, no, no. but no, this no. is so exciting. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so I'm like, where, where are you guys going to release it or distribute it or? Most likely YouTube. I mean, we're hoping to do a festival circuit first, um, okay. and then see how far we can carry that. We are hoping to try and sell it somewhere. But that's you know very high on mm -hmm. our on our dreams and our goals you never know <laughs> so yeah you never know and um if we don't have distribution it'll just be on the internet and have that as part of our part of our portfolio so. are you gonna try to do like a youtube red series at all like try uh, to get on we that can sell platform? it there sure i don't do see that. why not yeah. i mean yeah. if yeah. it's yeah if the content is there i mm -hmm. mean that's really what it comes down to and then yeah. if you are gonna do that you know i would look into like how you know what their requirements are mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff just so you yeah. have that for in case you do want it mm -hmm. sell it over to them yeah i mean we've been working out the logistics since we started and it's just been an ongoing every day like we have to do meetings we have to call lawyers we mm -hmm. need to contact cpas and we need yeah. to do contracts and then like alter it a certain way so yeah. it, it's it's uh 
so much work behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But we're learning a lot, and it's really great. And so, the series is called Los Angeles, so it's like no angels. Yeah. Ooh. Two S's. That's yeah. nice. Ooh. So. Ooh, I love that. That's yeah. <laughs> you, should, you should totally look at Netflix. I don't, not to like get all cry. No, but, no. Like, they're going dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, like, has anyone seen Chilling Adventures of Sabrina? No. I haven't no. seen, I haven't started it yet. I've... It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I binge watched it. <laughs> I was like in bed with my dogs, with my wine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had some coconut <laughs> chips. I was like all ready. Mm -hmm. And by the end of it, I was like, WTF guys. Yeah. So I, like for real, I was like, I didn't know Netflix yeah. went this dark and they Oh now. yeah, you know. I, yeah. So I, I'm like encouraging you to yeah. go that realm. Thank you. Yeah, I mean you know? that that would be amazing if I we know. could get a deal with Netflix. But it sounds like but, something yeah. they would also be interested mm -hmm. in. Not, I don't represent Netflix or anything, <laughs> but I'm like they yeah. cover so much content, mm -hmm. and they're, because especially they're going dark and they're interested in yeah. the anthology series, mm -hmm. this would be such a good platform for you. Yeah, I mean you know? we're really hoping that that would be incredible if we can get that. But I think it's also a sign of the times. You know, they're putting out a lot of dark. Uh, content out there in dark comedy because yeah. I think our generation is on the struggle bus pretty hard. Yeah, politically, <laughs> we're sad. <laughs> yeah, across uh, everyone's just it. everyone's just a, a like a lot depressed. So yeah. and angry. Uh, yeah, and depressed angry. and angry. Yeah, so the alcoholism has so. has risen. Has it? suicide in the last rates three have, have risen? Yeah, Sounds I believe right. it because mm -hmm. I'm drinking hell of a lot more wine. <laughs> Like, yeah. I went from once a week to, like, yeah. ooh, it's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, start early. Yeah. But also, yeah. Apple also is starting to, st you know what I mean? There's a lot of players mm -hmm. in the game right yeah. now. Yeah. So yeah. you have tons, especially if you have if you have it packaged well and yeah. you just kind of do your research and mm -hmm. see what they're looking for requirements. Yeah. I mean, I know Netflix is, like, what is it, like, everything has to stream at 4K. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, that's yeah. True. yeah. So a lot of people forget that. Mm -hmm. um, I know that there are things that were, we're purchased, for which is perfect. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it, going for you, it. Can, you can shoot. Yeah. Here's the thing: you can shoot in 4K, but you have mm -hmm. to finish in 4K. Yeah, I know. Which we, is we. Yeah, that yeah, that's we, where all like the you've little. You've done your homework. We will. Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Knock on wood. No, absolutely. Because yeah. at least if you have that, mm -hmm. then you can. If you want to go that route, yeah, you definitely have that. You have the accessibility. Yeah. I mean, we're aiming high. We're trying to make this as nice as possible because we know that with such an oversaturated market and people are just kind of shooting stuff, whatever, 4K on their iPhones and putting a, putting it up as a vlog. Yeah. And they think maybe that's special content. But, you know, for people who really work in the film industry, that's not. Right. So we have to really raise the bar and raise our standards and uh, think a lot about quality. Yes. So we're, we're striving for... <laughs> high quality stuff yeah and if yeah. you get the right people involved too i mean mm -hmm. pe here's the thing i would work hard and i treat a free job the same way i treat a paid job yeah because it's for the content mm -hmm. and it's for the creativity and if i've not done it before and i'm really behind what it's all about yeah i mean you know but also, what? isn't it your reputation? Absolutely. Like, that's how, I yeah. mean, not to interrupt or anything, yeah. but I'm like, that's your rep. Yeah. Like, I mean, maybe it's not paid, but people will still look at that and go, for an unpaid gig, mm -hmm. this woman worked her booty off. I mean, I, I don't know, like, that's yeah, my that's response. True. And that's so true. they'll be like, let's get her something else. Yeah. And then you network from there. So it's like your work speaks for yourself. Your reputation precedes you. I, yeah, and yeah. You I completely agree. Yeah. I mean, and they I like I, that mindset, Robin. Yeah. yeah. So. I, they have a really good, or I ha I've heard a really good saying. It says, bring your A game to the B job. Yeah. Yes. You know, yes. always. So, yeah. That's a really you good You have saying. to. Yeah. You Beautiful. really do. Yeah. And not just That's that. No one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> On my forehead. <laughs> no, no one needs yeah. to know whether you're paid or not or what mm -hmm. your rate was unless you want to disclose that information yeah. because you want to make sure everybody's being paid across the board and right. everything's fair. But at the same time, like, no one needs to know that. Mm -hmm. If the quality of the work is there, mm -hmm. then that's all they need Speaks to see. Speaks for itself. Exactly. Yeah. There's plenty of stuff. I mean, I know people that are ASC members that still work for free yeah. because of content. Yeah. So yeah. you can dream big. Yeah. It just depends on who you know and what they if they like that, and that's kind of their, their cup of tea, mm -hmm. done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So This is true. So you're learning so much today. Yeah. This is why I got out of bed today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I had my tea before this. <laughs> right? We're all yeah. woke. Um, but I literally mean woke. Yeah. <laughs> Not the cool woke. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm really excited about this, that you're doing this, because we briefly talked beforehand. Mm -hmm. on, on, you know, um, 
because you were reaching out looking for actors and whatnot and so yeah. i sent you a few yeah um you know hopefully you use them if not no big deal but i i highly recommend them i don't know who else you have to look at too i'm pretty sure they're great she is me i'm just, yeah. kidding. <laughs> just kidding i do now yeah I'm just <laughs> she just said it's, a, it's on tape like great okay yeah, i didn't even see it I've so got you an okay, thank you. <laughs> my gosh thanks <laughs> But I'm really excited about this. What mm -hmm. what did you do beforehand? Like, uh, I mean, like, what project did you do before? And we didn't even ask, Robin. We we always ask, wh why did you choose this field? Or what inspired you to yeah. jump into this field? Um, I, I don't really have, like, a eureka moment of when I just decided that I wanted to be in the film industry. I've mm -hmm. just always loved it. You know, mm -hmm. being a 90s kid, I'm sure you guys can all relate. Like, you know, growing up with television and loving stories, loving yeah. movies, always being entertained. Um, I took a video production class when I was 15, and I knew right away that I wanted to direct. Um, and I, just, I stuck with it. I mean, I didn't really go to a film school. I couldn't afford it. But mm -hmm. um, I went to... Uh, school with a film program <laughs> and then I just moved out here yeah <laughs> I just I moved out here and kind of had to start over and learn just from the ground up just start working in it right away um, and I decided to go through camera route thinking that would help me be a better director and I think in a lot of ways it has like I can ask for ask for cameras or lenses or certain tech specs that um, really make a difference with what you're seeing in the frame mm -hmm. um, and I think that helps me a lot. I'm, I'm trying to learn more from the actor's perspective now because that's kind of like the key aspect. A director has to kind of know everything. It's like writing and acting and, yeah. you know, it's a lot. And Yeah, you're at the helm. It takes a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And there's no rush to it, too. Like, mm -hmm. that's the reason why I've always believed in I, I'm working yeah. from the bottom up, you know, mm -hmm. like I... I really have. Yeah. And for me, I'm not in a rush. I just still would like to shoot because yeah. I love it. Yeah. You know, like I will operate for any other DP if they need it because mm -hmm. I'm I'm not a bad operator. I yeah. mean, you know, just the DP that I worked with yesterday, she's like, you're always my number one call. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I was like, let's keep getting those jobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll <laughs> operate any day of the week. Yeah. You know, because it's enjoyable. It's something mm -hmm. you would, you you want to do it's something you're passionate yeah. about so it doesn't matter you know the long hours it's mm -hmm. just like oh this story is good or oh i like this and yeah. the people that you're working with it's it, kind of like you don't exactly. mind yeah i was on set the other day and i was working with my mentor on a short film and i was just slating it was like the middle of the night we were running late and but i just thought to myself i had a moment where i was like i wouldn't want to be in a cubicle right now like yeah. having a day job nine to five but oh, that it that's sucks. a key thing it yeah. sucks it I've, I've had to had do that it. before it, yeah, yeah. all three of live. you guys have i've done yeah, yeah. Well, I, mean, I did it like I'm in not, not at the same time, company. but yeah. <laughs> not in the same job, but yeah, no, 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 not the I same know. company. I'm, but, yeah. I'm super lucky. I haven't. Oh wait, no, yes. I did. I did a summer of it. See, but mm. I'm I, I basically <laughs> was just like, I'm gonna do this for a little bit, and then I'm gonna take the money. I'm gonna go travel. Bye. Yeah, that's what <laughs> that's I usually did. how it goes. That's what I did too. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. gonna get stuck there. Yeah. No, no, I <laughs> three heard that. Years later, <laughs> I hit three years. I hit three mm. years, and I, I worked in more. a hospital. No, I hit three years, and I remember specifically all like I was walking through the lunch line, and there was these two county workers, and they were like, "They say if you hit four years, you're here for life." And mm. I was like, "Oh hell no!" <laughs> so I quit like three weeks later. That's and awesome. Was, like, nice job. Broke <laughs> yeah. as hell for like two years. <laughs> And I was like, I am going to act, and I'm going to produce, and I'm going to do what the hell I need. I don't know if we can cuss. Yeah, yes. you can. So you yeah. can cuss. Okay, whatever you want. You can, say, you can say fuck. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. whoa. Oh. Oh. your role. <laughs> See, don't say that. I'm, a, I'm half British, so I have a horrible sailor mouth. But, I'm like, well, I, I loved our comedy, so I got, go for it. Uh, <laughs> I got to reel it in Let all the time. And mom's like, you're not classy. I know. Um, <laughs> 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 For the record, I've been watching Robin knit, y'all, like, <laughs> this whole crochet, time. Crochet, crochet. But working on yeah, these jobs so nice. suck, and it helps you realize your passion. Mm -hmm. So I think everyone needs to work a crappy job in their yeah, life. Definitely. Once to realize their dreams, because mm -hmm. that money was good. That insurance was good. That travel package yes. was good. Yes. And I was like, <laughs> bye. Yeah. No, I, I, was, uh, I was working at a, at a job where um, it was a call center, 
Oh, and no. I was working on my feature at the same time. <laughs> oh, it, my it was gosh. A, but it was an inbound call center, not an outbound. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So either way, but I prefer inbound call centers and so outbound. It's not like call marketing. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, I refuse. I refuse. I, if I get into one of those jobs, it lasts me a day. I'm like, nope. Um, I don't want to bug anyone. I'd rather they bug me. That's why I'm here to work, right? So I'm at this call center, and they saw that I was getting really busy with my feature, Mm-hmm. And they were super supportive and they were telling me like, hey, whatever time you need off. And I would take time off to do my feature stuff, you know, it was a lot of pre-production. But then it got to the point where they were like, oh, you'll you'll never make it. So you'll just be here for a while. <sighs> so when they kept egging that on, mm-hmm. that's when I just like forget it. So one yeah. day they were going to call me in to, uh, what is it called when you get in trouble? They were going to do a write up. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. But I remember they were going to write me up for something. But I had already been contemplating to quit. Yeah. So they called one person. They writ- they wrote her up. Mm-hmm. And then there- I was the next person up. So I had already my letter of rec- uh, re- resignation. Yeah. <laughs> so I went into the... <laughs> I went in. And they're like, what's that? I was like, oh, I'm just giving you my two weeks notice. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> but they were like, I guess you don't have to sign this right oh. up. <laughs> I was just like... There you go. Yeah. Do you know how I left? With a cake that said, this is my two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> because the women I worked with hated me so much. So you bought them cake? I bought, bought them, them cake. cake. I was like, let, let them, them eat cake. cake. Yeah. I was That's like, brilliant. I was, I'm such a metaphor. I'm a walking metaphor. I swear to God. Okay, but I was like, cake. Both, both of those exits were very creative. Mm-hmm. Just just saying. Yeah. That's what yeah. my boss told me. He was a neurosurgeon. He was like, this is the most creative way someone's ever like broken up with a department. I was like, I go big and I go home. So. The, one of the worst ways <laughs> I great. quit one time. <laughs> no, one of the worst ways I quit one time, and this is when I, I quit, and then I went into uh, law school. You know, what? It, yeah, so I was just like, I had it with this company, mm-hmm. and this there was very manipulating people involved and I couldn't stand it. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I'm so done. So one day it was a really bad day at work. I took my lunch, I got back and then the people that were just horrible were just on top that day. So I was just like, you know what? I grabbed a box. I packed all my stuff. I just got back from lunch and I walked outside and the receptionist was looking at me like, where is she going? And I put (laughs) my stuff in my car, got in my car, started it, drove off and I called work. And the reception, she's like, why are you calling me? I was like, oh, I just wanted to let you know you can announce that I quit. And I drove off. <laughs> You're so melodramatic. Yeah, yeah, I did. And she was like, holy hell, you she's got some Latin. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like, know. I know. She's full Latin. I'm yeah. only half Latin. So that's why I'm like, savage. <laughs> Emily, come on. Yeah. What, uh, what quitting stories have you got? Uh, yes, you know, please just, like, tell me. Sure. I like, I mean, I've only had one bad one. Um... Uh, I was I was working in the restaurant industry. <laughs> it's pretty, already pretty bad. <laughs> it was my very first job, and I tried to be very good at it, but um, they had four managers, and two of them hated me, and two of them loved me. I don't know how they made their decisions, but like, <laughs> so half of them loved me, half of them hated me. Were they and like then, day shifts or evening shifts? It, they were all over. They oh, were okay. actually understaffed, and so we were like hustling <laughs> to like pick up more shifts, and we were just overworked, and it was miserable. So uh. um, anyway, I was working this job while in college, and um, one of the managers that hated me, he said, "Hey, you need to dry clean your shirts." And I said, I do. I have the receipts. Do you want to see them? <laughs> oh, my god! And they don't, they don't pay you to do that. It's, like, yeah. out of your own paycheck to, wow. like, dry clean. And nobody else did. I was, like, the straight-A goody two-shoes okay. student. <laughs> um, and I, uh, on, when I quit, I just, like, scanned all of my receipts and dropped the papers on his desk. And I said, these are my receipts. I, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Yeah. That's great. Wow. So, yeah. What did he do? He didn't do anything. I mean, I had an exit interview with one of the managers who really liked me, and he just said, you know, like, I'm really sorry this happened to you, and we've had trouble with this other manager. Then fire him it, and keep yeah. me on and give me a raise. It was, right. No, but it was such a miserable job, and I, I ended up getting a much better retail job in college after that, and it was, like, my favorite job ever before I moved out here. So Nice. Where yeah. are you from, may I ask? Yeah, um, I always love to know where people are from and where course, they went to school. Of yeah. course, um, yeah. Virginia. On nice. East Coast. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, mm-hmm. nice. She went from cold to like semi cold. Yeah. <laughs> she like gradually made her way to like sunny California. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Where'd you go to school? George Mason University. Um, people only know that for the basketball team. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> they have like a really good, uh, they're, they're the um, Patriots. 
Okay. So they have a really good basketball team, but like that's it's it. not really well known for <laughs> anything else. Where, where is that school? Is that in? It's uh, Fairfax. Like, it's kind of like 45 minutes outside of D.C. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, small town. No one really knows of it unless you're from there. So. That's cool, though. Yeah. I passed through something similar. <laughs> yeah. My cousin lives in Alexandria. <laughs> yep, yeah. Most See? people live I there saw... or Richmond. And, uh, yeah, Fairfax, people kind of just pass through. <laughs> so, That's but it's really beautiful. Like yeah. All of it's gorgeous. Yeah. I really want to go to New good. England. That yeah. sounds dope. I went to Boston for, like, a day. I don't think it counts. No, oh, I want to go to layover. Yeah. Was it a layover? Is that why? What did I do? Oh, I went to Martha's Vineyard. Don't go to Martha's Vineyard in the <laughs> cold, people. I don't know why we we're dumb. You go there during the summer. I yeah. know, I know, I know. Obama go to Sweden goes, in the summer. Obama yeah. goes there in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone goes there in the summer. In the summer. I don't yeah. know why we were dumb and said let's go in September. It's like no, it's cold. Damn. It's already freezing, and like you can't do anything. Everything's mm-hmm. closed up. Yeah. Everything closes up. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't seasonal know that. Town. Yeah, yeah, seasonal. Yeah. I know that i'm like you won't even get tickets. a candy there yeah. during that time no no everything was really cheap and i'm like ah that's why that'd actually that's be a great time to go and film something there that's yeah. what Boom. what a lot of people yeah. were only there doing was filming mm-hmm. it was weird there's so mm-hmm. many people filming and because oh. it's super cheap mm-hmm. they were like this is the time to do it nobody's yeah. here i was like oh i just thought it would be sunny <laughs> Yeah. Clearly, it wasn't. It's always sunny. <laughs> they call it runaway films to shoot somewhere else, like Atlanta or something like that. Yeah, just some other part of the country, like North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's so much cheaper than shooting here. <laughs> For sure, yeah. That's yeah. What's, it stinks, yeah. but yeah. yes, that's true. Mm-hmm. That's something so. that I hope someday in the near future California changes, like their tax rebates and whatnot for filming. I don't know. I mean, I think that's the bright side of making things more accessible now. Like, I don't like YouTube culture, but I I do love that anyone can pick up a camera and make an independent film anywhere in the world now. And I think about that sometimes, too. Like, if it doesn't work out here, I might try Sweden or somewhere else because it's available now. You have free universal health care. Yeah. And you could go back to college also and get a master's for free. They pay pay you to be a student. They do. Yeah, Yeah, in Norway it's really good. ridiculous. I'm like, I I don't want to go there, but it's so cold. That that was actually going to be my plan B. Like, if we didn't get our crowdfunding and we just went off to make our short film on our own time, I was going to try Sweden sooner, but... We'll see what happens with our project now. Like maybe I'll stick around. Yeah, for sure. Was, yeah, I was contemplating it, it for the, a while. You better do it before the whole Brexit thing, though. Like, because the minute like Brexit happens, apparently yeah. everything's going to get really expensive. Mm-hmm. It's already well, no, I mean Sweden's already like, like, has already so gone. expensive because their like, taxes are so high to like pay for all that stuff. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. I feel like it would be yeah. more because the minute mm-hmm. like England's like bye, then everything's just going to like. I don't know. I feel like. I think the the, the bubble has to burst at some yeah. point because yeah. they're already like I mean I don't know what it is for like how it is for other European countries but uh, I know Sweden is having a difficult time for people Italy's living there too. trying to mm-hmm. yeah Italy's like it's, half, oh, they're, they've yeah. been struggling though for yeah. years yes yeah. ever since that's true yeah ever since they converged with the euro because mm-hmm. they thought it was going to help their economy and right. it's actually been a pit yep. yeah it's just it's Ireland so Ireland too and yeah. they're like we wanted our independence and they're like they got their independence and they're like we want the euro and I'm like why yeah. <laughs> why a pint yeah. of Guinness is 14 euros that is ridiculous <laughs> yes. that's so good it's though. ridiculous <laughs> I, I didn't yeah. like that. I thought yeah. it should have been like five, but that's just me. <laughs> no, I agree with you, but it's worth it. It's so good. Ew, no. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I say barter. Which, those of you listening, yeah, I, this is barter. I, the beer that I love is I Guinness. Need... So, oh, but it crap. is this bump. It is, it is not the same. I... It is not the same in the U.S. that it no. is in the U.K. No. I was, And then on top of that, if you go to Ireland, there is like a Guinness factory mm-hmm. side, and then there's the other similar guinness <laughs> brand that i'm yeah. not aware of yet yeah mm-hmm. so uh, absolutely yeah. i haven't tried it i heard that is just like phenomenal um, i went to the guinness factory because i studied at oxford when i was 21 so I, I that's, that's nice <laughs> i know right everyone yeah. says that and i was like no 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 y'all don't understand it was like an exchange <laughs> program we went to school like four days don't a sell week. it short yeah don't, i'm gonna like, sell it way Oxford. short <laughs> Okay, whatever. But it's I like went... saying I went to Harvard for funsies. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> I studied. Some giggles, <laughs> right? <laughs> I just studied there. I went to school there, whatever. But then I went to Ireland and I went to Dublin. Um, 
for a weekend and it was amazing. And yeah. I went during a nice time of year. Good. Finally, okay. it was <laughs> great. Cool. It yeah. was beautiful. <laughs> and then I went to the Guinness factory and I was really excited because I've never, I'd never had Guinness beer. I wasn't oh. a beer drinker, so I was all like, yes, with like the vaults and like everything's pushing and moving. And they're like at the end, like you may now have a beer. Mm. I was like, okay, <laughs> let me now have a beer. I've seen the beer move, like made, and let's do this. So I get there and I'm drinking this like beer and I'm like, this is disgusting. <laughs> Oh, no. And it's straight from the factory. Oh, no. Because, and now, but then I went across the street to the local pub and I had a Guinness there because someone was like, maybe because it was just made or whatever it was. Yeah. And then they were like, it's okay, just go across the street. So I go across the street <laughs> and I was like, this tastes exponentially better, but it still tastes too gross for me. And that's when I realized I'm not a dark beer yes. fan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it, that's, it ruins the that's what yeah. it is. It's like a chocolate shake. That's yeah. the way yeah. I oh. describe it. Yes, yeah. it is. I it agree. was very chocolatey, but what? I don't like chocolate. Oh, oh and, whoa. And and that's, I Whoa, know, wait. I know. Wait, beers like Whoa. chocolate? Wait a minute. What, this what, beer, okay. this beer. It's Guinness. very Guinness. dense. It's like very kind of syrupy, it's but you like don't it. taste the syrup. It's mm. fuffy. But it's, does it yeah. taste like chocolate? <laughs> It, it had can. like chocolatey notes or what? like coffee yes. notes. You should have yeah. it. You would love I'm it. I'm not a beer drinker. You will get into beer then. Oh my god. I'm not either. Gosh. I have like a top three <laughs> and they're my only three. I'm so sorry. Like, I'll just yeah. <laughs> we can have wine together if you're a wine. I'm not. I. I. Uh, I'm all. <laughs> Coca-Cola person. I'm just okay. Like, That's I'm fine. very boring. Coca-Cola or water. It's better to try oh, it's good. It's better and, to, and yeah. figure it out. It's yeah. not a bad thing. No, but yeah. I'll, try. No, I'll, I'll get you in a Moscato. We'll be good. Don't worry. Okay. No, you don't like Moscato. She doesn't I don't like, like Moscato. No. I don't like Moscato. I don't like it. I don't like it. She likes it. I was <laughs> like, I'm going to double check that. <laughs> well, okay. So here's, yeah. here's the breakdown on that. So she has Please never, she's never smoked a cigarette. She's never smoked anything else. She's not never, a bowl? No, nothing. No. And not even. You're a surprise. <laughs> I mean, we're in California. I know. I'm like, <laughs> we're in LA. And so um, the other thing, too, is that she had never had a drink. And it, how old were you when you had like your first drink? 22, 23. First drink. You're Peruvian. I know. Yes. Que paso? <laughs> so I, the first, Straight the edge. first drink that I had in her, like I was just like, oh, you should try this. We were at a bar. I did not know that she didn't drink, so right. I was just mm-hmm. like, oh, I'll get the first round. We're gonna like out with yeah. friends and whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I got the first round. And she's like, I don't, I don't know what to drink. That's I exactly didn't... what I sound like too. I don't know. <laughs> but but what, the way I took it was like she didn't know what to choose to drink. Not right. like she doesn't drink. So I, like just was like, here, this everybody likes this apple martini. Boom. Yeah, it's an apple teeny. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. no bueno. No, that was, yeah, that, that, I, I like that. I, yeah. But I'm a big Peace Coast Sour person, and I know how to make them now. I don't drink mm-hmm. it often. Robin doesn't like it because of her first experience that had soap in it. So, okay. And that ruined it for her. What? <laughs> I was, wait, oh, well, wait. Whoa. Yes, yes. Let me explain this They didn't clean the cup very well. So we were visiting, uh, yeah, go some <laughs> extra. Like, so, oh it was God. like so oh. the cup that they had clean, that the cups that they had pulled out of the, the, right. the, you know, the dishwasher or whatever had like a little bit of like the like remnants, the, yeah, of soap. So I had like <laughs> dish soap in my drink, and I was like, oh, this is terrible. I kept hearing all these wonderful things, and I was like, mm, no, thank you. Yeah, and I was like, mm, I don't want it, and oh. it ever again. <laughs> No. Can That's we make the... another batch without the soap? I, oh. I, she just... I didn't know. So yeah. I, di- I was the okay. only one. There was like six or seven of us drinking this. She got and the I soap. was the only person. I was just like, <gasps> I, was like oh. I didn't want to be rude. There's cause... bubbles coming out of her mouth. Oh, oh. There was. <laughs> oh I was like, damn. <laughs> there was. Damn. It's like, you should probably see a doctor. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty serious. <laughs> well, next time you ladies go yeah. out drinking, please invite us yeah. so we yeah. can get in on this. <laughs> We'll like, do. We'll yeah. do. We'll do. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll have Guinness for you. and, and I'll you. Make Actually, I prefer design. whiskey. But whiskey. Yes! Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Old fashioned. Yes. Uh, well, are you a SoCo? Can we do Southern Comfort? I, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Or I don't know. I usually just prefer it straight because I enjoy the wow. flavor and I'm really interested in the chemistry. So, I yeah, like red breast or something okay, okay. Yeah, that's a little that. bougie but it's no no that's uh, it's okay. nice so i'm like white trash yeah. when it comes to my whiskey yeah. I, i'm like let's just do this so i just i get really offended so this is very pretentious so i apologize I have, like, yeah <laughs> i'm bad yeah, yeah. Bad. Paper, you're, you're bougie and cheap paper bag I, I apologize <laughs> yeah i get like kind of offended if people try to cut their whiskey with ice or water because that oh, totally that, dilutes yeah. the flavor and no. i'm like why are you drinking this i agree <laughs> but it, I, I, I apologize agree. i know that's very pretentious no no that's fine everybody has a preference i'm straight too like that 
I don't like, and I don't like Chase Dizzy there. No. I'm like, if you yeah. can't handle this, you should not be drinking yeah. it. I mean, the whole point for me, at least, is to get the flavor. So it's Agreed. like, why would I change it? Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm right, so. I'm right there with you. My okay, first cool. thing Thank was you. <laughs> a shot of Jameson. Yes. Yeah. And then I was just like... <laughs> That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little harsh. It was, it was. I mean, it was smooth going down. But mm-hmm. the other thing, but that I, I, I just, I, lo- I know you don't like it, mm-hmm. but I love old fashions. Yes. So. I, I like mixing. Yeah. And I, I, so it's, that's my, I'm really particular about that. So my house has to have a really nice bar, mm-hmm. even though it, I probably won't drink what's there, but I'll have like stock everything. That's my goal is just to have, cause of the bottles. I just love collecting beautiful bottles mm-hmm. and I just want to have them. And then if we ever have a get together or I have a party or whatever, you can just I, invite me. I'll, I'll help you with that. <laughs> so, I'll help you with that. But that's not a lush, but I'll help you But yeah, that's what I enjoy. Um, that, and I, I like cooking as well. So oh, that's, yeah. oh, that's nice. Because yeah. your dad's a chef, right? That's correct. My yeah. dad's a chef. My mom's a cook, and it's all good home cooked meals. Mm-hmm. And... That's so lovely. I love eating, but I I very much dislike cooking. I yeah. I like cooking because I I um I get really into it. Yeah. And I follow the recipe. Yeah. You know, down to the T. So yeah. like my parents like that because sometimes I'll try something different they've never had. And so when I cook, I go all out. Like I try to make my plate, my the presentation match what the presentation is. <laughs> like, sir, you you know that because yeah. Robin's been there. Like she likes it too, so I'll be like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, <"Done."> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you know. You're like, who's cooking? <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be coming over. <laughs> <laughs> But oh, yeah, sounds wonderful. <laughs> I, I really get into the whole presentation of it. Yeah. I don't know why. And it, it, I don't do it all that often. So that's what's good about it. That's why I enjoy it. Because if I did it all the time, then mm-hmm. I, I would hate it. Yeah. But I, when I go all out, I go all out. Yeah. I mean, recently, I'm, I'm definitely coming over. <laughs> yeah. I, I recently, I had people uh-huh. like asking me about my banana surprise, which is a banana wrapped in a wonton, a frozen banana wow, that wrapped in a great. wonton with uh, uh, chocolate and sliced yeah. almonds inside the wonton. It's oh. so good. It's stupid and then she puts ice cream on top of it and i'm like oh, sounds incredible my birthday is january 3rd and <laughs> my birthday cake please Done deal. i'm a yeah. capricorn yeah. <laughs> oh my god yeah see i'm glad see i'm such a foodie like the weight of my heart is through my stomach it yeah. truly is so like whoever the dude is that wants to like pick me up that's mm-hmm. all it's got to be it's just got to be <laughs> good food yeah. is that whoever that dude no. is just listen up you have a short time span because um her astrology stuff is oh, all god. saying that she's gonna be pregnant <laughs> next week Wait, no, Wait, why so, would you bring that up? <laughs> I never said that. What is your start? Can we be dumb for 30 seconds and talk star signs? Because oh, I love this com- I love this conversation so much. It's fascinating. It's so to LA. Me. I know. Yo, on the real. Wait for your so dark comedy. Yeah, yeah. See? I t- this I is good put material. It in there. This is yeah. good material. Okay, for you. yeah. What is your star I, sign, Robin? I'm a Pisces. I'm the oh, last no. day of Pisces. I get along with everybody. Sorry, I'm a Pisces too. My 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 mom's a Pisces. <laughs> I'm a year and a day um, older. No, year and a day before you, but I'm older. Yes, I'm a, a year older, mm-hmm. but um, so March nineteenth. A year and a day. Yeah, March nineteenth. Yeah. yeah, and you're March twentieth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is yours, man? Okay, if you're so, Scorpio, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> well, I really like Scorpios, but <laughs> um, okay. So I only know a bunch of this information through friends uh, who are very passionate about this stuff. Right. I don't know what it means. So my sign is Cancer. Yes. And then what is like? What do you call it? A rising sign or a sun sign? A sun sign. I don't know any sign. of that stuff. I don't, I don't either. What is your I don't sun know what it means. Sign? Leo. Okay, and what's and your that, What's your... Like, what is it, moon or something? It's your moon, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Sagittarius? I know this crap, so that's oh, yeah. why I'm like, oh, so you're, like, bounded by fire. If you're, if you're I rising... I don't, I don't know. Yes, okay. If you're, <laughs> like... if you're, what time of day were you born? Do you know? Uh, I know this is You were dumb. there, but you just don't remember. <laughs> yes. Oh, like, the morning. <laughs> yeah, so you're definitely bounded by fire. Cause if okay, you're, you're... hold on. So, all, based on that, all I know is that I'm an emotional narcissist who likes to travel. Yep. But... <laughs> That's not, not a bad okay, thing. Hold on. It's not hold a bad on. thing. I get along with cancers. I, I well, wait a minute. <laughs> so She's like, hold on. I really, I, I really am fascinated with science, cool. and NASA said that um, all of our zodiac signs are. First of all, fal- false. But if yes. we were to really measure them, they're all totally wrong uh-huh. because uh, 
things have shifted like the earth yeah. has kind of like shifted the past 3000 years yes, yes so like it's true. everything we know is incorrect that's and not so like entirely it's about, like true. our sign is not really but that's a bad that's sign that's not entirely true that's not entirely and here's why and i don't mean to like debate with nasa <laughs> no no <laughs> but I, did, I have three degrees and one's from oxford so maybe i should okay two from ucla one from oxford we're doing good right. but anyway good. <laughs> like it's not bad Damn. one of them was in forensics not bad um that sounds but good. i know i love dead bodies it's great. Right. Oh, God. That's a separate Comedy. conversation. Yeah. That's a se- separate conversation. I know. I was like, we'll go into that next. Okay. <laughs> um, but no, because if it's it's it, they say that it's based on the calendar, right? And yes, mm-hmm. it has shifted in the last three thousand years. However, we're basing our stuff still on the old original Mayan calendar. Now, going forward, there is a new star sign. I know mm-hmm. it's all dumb. Get with me. No, no, no. But it's like now going forward, mm-hmm. we're not going off that calendar anymore because that calendar has ended. Correct. So going. Right. forward things are different i'm right. still like i'm a capricorn i know i'm a capricorn like okay. i have the traits and all and i love cancers because well, one you. my dad it's so funny my dad's a cancer my mom's a pisces mm-hmm. and like the cancer is my best friend sign like oh, good yeah <laughs> it's so good yeah. so that's why i'm like, and if you're bounded by fire that's even better i don't know what that means but okay <laughs> when you're bounded by fire it means that your traits mm-hmm. like do you ever find yourself with a bit of a temper or like yes yeah do you ever find yourself kind of angry not just like some people are chill i don't know i thought that was a millennial thing but i'm really starting to question now (laughs) yeah when it just i just mean that it's like your your characteristics are heightened Mm -hmm. and you're gonna have a fire like undertone to it that's all it means but cancer is a great sign and you should be proud of that because it's a water sign so that also means you get along with everyone and these are more water signs great great so okay, cool. Good. We're flowing. Yes, we're, we're flowing. flowing. You're flowing. Yeah. So great. As we're <laughs> as we're gonna get closer to wrapping up this uh, yeah, filmmaking podcast mm-hmm. <laughs> on signs and all and, of this uh, is research. It all is, of this it is, is usable. <laughs> I get to ask because um, uh, you're doing a, a your 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 project is based on LA, mm-hmm. right? And yeah. I just got to share this real quick before we start closing. Is I had to share. I had to. Um, host an actress that came from she was peruvian spanish Mm -hmm. and she wanted to see if she's going to live here so she was here for three days and i showed her around and she wanted to see all the beautiful things that she's seen online of la Mm -hmm. so she showed me like this is what i want to look at and i'm like all right so i took her there (laughs) and every single place that i took her to Uh i said what do you think and she was trying to be polite i was like i know it smells like piss and marijuana. Yes! That's the cologne of LA. Yes. Welcome piss to the city. Piss and marijuana. So that's your yeah. that's the postcard. Mm-hmm. It's not a scratch and sniff yeah. for a reason. Yeah. So anyhow, in closing, real quick, what advice do you have? And then where can people find you, Emily? Um, advice. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Uh, just start working in the industry right away. Like probably even skip film school. Mm-hmm. Um, I know your parents might not be very happy about that, but if I had known, I, I don't think I would have gone to college. I know very few parents that are, are proud of kids in film school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I definitely think like some of that helps you a lot in terms of a different department. Like maybe AFI is really excellent for cinematography and yeah, learning. They are. Yeah. Like learning all of those ins and outs of the the technical pieces yeah um i mean that certainly would have helped me and uh but it's also very expensive so if you can't pay for it just work yeah yeah good yeah. advice next, I mean, be- next best education is yeah. On set. yeah yeah seriously good advice and where can people find you um you can find me just usually on instagram at msven13 and uh you can find los angeles at uh, los angeles film with two s's on instagram as well um, shout out to our producer Sarah Taylor Kaplan. I just have to include her name because she really hauled ass to get a screen lit. And Beautiful. She, yeah, shout out to her she carried sure. a lot of weight on that. Yeah, so. and all the contributors and ev- yeah. anybody yeah. that thank believed you guys. in you guys. Yeah, it's yeah. Fantastic. it really means a lot. So yeah, awesome. thank you. So, Robin, thanks for always being the co-host with the mostest. You're not even co-host. You're just the other host. <laughs> Ash, thanks for dropping in. Oh, we're going to be filming here. <laughs> guys, will make uh, an announcement soon about what we're doing. But Ash, thanks for dropping in, and then we're going to go from here to film emily thank you for being our guest today thank you so much for having me yeah. this was a blast oh, yeah i want yeah. you back when your film is out so deal we can talk about it sounds okay? amazing yeah all thank right you. everyone please have a safe and happy sunday have a great week guys you're listening to female filmmakers fuse with alexa polar and robin pabello only on la talk radio